Step right up, step right up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest, well, second greatest show on earth. I'm so happy. It's my favorite time of the day. It's morning time. Morning time. Sun is rising. Morning time. Good morning, Calico Lucy. Morning time. Morning time. The birds are singing. Morning time. Good morning, early bird. Bok, bok. Morning time, morning time. Count your blessings, morning time. Good morning, Giuseppe. Morning time, morning time. The bells are ringing, morning time. Good morning, Penelope. Morning time, morning time. How I love the morning time. Hi everyone, my name is Calliope. My father is the ringmaster with a traveling circus. One day, I'll join his circus. But for now, I'm here practicing my skills as a clown. And when I get them just right, I know my papa will send for me and he'll let me run the carnival sideshow with the circus. But for now, I'm here in the circus's winter home in Calico Valley. And with me are some of my best friends. They help me improve my skills. Some of them even want to be in the sideshow. Hello, boys and girls. You know, every time you come to visit me here in Calico Valley, I'm getting ready to have my breakfast. Giuseppe always makes me the best breakfast. It's always nutritious and delicious, but Sometimes I would just rather have something that I like. Like what, Calliope? Oh, hello, early bird. Well, I would like for once just to have something like, I don't know, chocolate cake. Well, why don't you? Well, because Giuseppe says I can't have chocolate cake for breakfast. It's not good for me. But isn't cake made with things you eat for breakfast, like milk and eggs? Well, yes, I, you're right about that. And the frosting is just like the coating on cornflakes that makes them sweet and... Oh, well, maybe I should approach Giuseppe like that. Hold it a right to there, earlier bird. I'm a no-giver calliope chocolate a cake for breakfast. Her papa the ringmaster would never stand for that. But Giuseppe, a cake is made of all the things that people normally have for breakfast. And it gives a lot of energy so people can work or learn all morning long. And it makes you teeth go bad from all of the sugar, and it's a not a gonna happen while a Giuseppe is in a charge of the food here. Calliope, you're gonna eat a your regular breakfast today and every day, just like a you papa the ringmaster he told me to make sure you do. Okay, Giuseppe, well, maybe I can have some cake for dessert. Maybe after a lunch you can have it a chocolate or cake, but not a for breakfast. You a grown-up, Calliope. You should have known better than that. Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Penelope. Calliope will be right back after these messages. I know you are disappointed that you know I've been sent for yet, but you gotta keep your chin up. You papa the ringmaster, he's a right. Your clown skills are getting a better. Thank you, Giuseppe. And yes, it is disappointing. But Papa and Mama said that sharing the lessons with the children here like we do is more important. But are you hard as in it a big atop, right? It sure is, Giuseppe. It sure is. Denny, you never a fear, Calliope. You are going to make it. 
You papa the ringmaster. He told the Giuseppe that he's going to be sending you some special teachers soon to help you get some of your skills together. He say he really needed you to run at a sideshow, but you have got to be ready. Oh, I'll be all right, Giuseppe. My papa and mama don't want me out in front of the crowds until I'm ready. And I don't want to be in front of the crowds until I'm ready either. Did papa say who these special teachers are? He had no giving me names. He just to say he send them. One of them may even have come by it today. Oh, that would be wonderful. I can start getting my skills together soon. Speaking of getting it together, Giuseppe going to go inside and make you breakfast. It'll be ready soon. Oh, goody, Mr. McCall is here with the mail. Good morning, Mr. McCall. Good morning to you, lassie. So your folks haven't sent for you yet, have they? I'm afraid so, Mr. McCall, but I'm not too disappointed. Papa and Mama said that I'm getting better and better, and that they'll send for me soon when I'm ready. That's wonderful, lass. Here's your mail, just a package from your mail order school. Thank you, Mr. McCall. I've been waiting for this one. I think it's going to be a big help in me getting ready for the circus. You'll have to tell me all about it, lass. All I can say is it was one of the heaviest ones I've had to carry. Do they expect you to be a clown or to be a bricklayer? <laughs> a clown, Mr. McCall. These are probably just some of the tools that I'll need to help me with my clown skills for when I'm not in charge of the carnival sideshow with the circus. Well, however it goes, lass, I'm sure you'll be the best. I have to fly off and deliver some more mail. Take care. Bye, Mr. McCall. Fly safely. Boys and girls, this course is special. And I know it's going to be special because it's not as small as they normally are. You know, I still don't understand how a little bird like Mr. McCall can carry such a big box. Good morning, Calliope. Here's Giuseppe's grocery order. All the fresh vegetables you like. It's very light, Happy Monkey. Well, you don't like that many fresh vegetables. <laughs> Happy Monkey, this is broccoli. It is? That's odd. It was supposed to be Brussels sprouts. Ugh, I think I'll stick to the broccoli. Anyway, it all makes me think of a... A joke, I know. Okay, what's your joke? Where do erasers go for their vacation? I don't know, Happy Monkey. Where do erasers go for their vacation? To Arizona. Get it? Arizona? Arizona? <laughs> that new joke book must still be on back order. That was a good one, Happy Monkey. Well, with that, I'll be heading back to the market. Have a happy day filled with joy. You too, Happy Monkey. Boys and girls, I'll be right back after these important messages for you and your parents. Hi, boys and girls. I'd love to hear from you. Please write to me at Calliope, P.O. Box 1995, LaGrange, Georgia, 30241. And now, back to the caravan. Another mail order course, boys and girls. You know, I believe you should never stop learning. Even though I'm all grown up, I still enjoy learning new and different things. You never know when you might use them. Good morning, Calliope. What's in the box? Oh, I don't know, Penny. I was just starting to open it. Well, let's see what it is. It's so exciting. This one's really heavy, though. Welcome to the first of your series of courses on clown skills. Whether you want to entertain friends, amuse yourself, or run off and join the circus, you can't get a better introduction to clown skills than here with your mail order school. Well, you can always learn from real clowns. You're not listening. I said you can't get better instruction anywhere. Now then, take the items out of your box and place them nearby.
That's right, your first lesson on clown skills is juggling. This is a skill that has endless uses, you know. After all, people juggle time, they juggle money, they juggle their various responsibilities. Here's your chance to learn how to do all of that with the ease of a clown. And you're so lucky, you get to juggle zucchini. Now the first thing you have to do is learn how to throw up something and catch it. Take one of the zucchini in the kit from your right hand, toss it up and catch it in your left hand. Transfer the zucchini back to your right hand and do it again. Very good. Now get a second zucchini from your kit, put it in your left hand. When you toss the zucchini in your right hand up, Toss the one in your left hand over to your right hand, then catch the zucchini in the air in your left hand. That's the trick. Do it over and over and over again. 